Hey Gemini, welcome to your weekly reading. Um, we're just going to get into it. I do have a uh, sensation which has just come about just then, um, which is directed in the chest, okay, in the chest. Um, there's uh, in, in the heart space as well. Um, there might be some healing which uh, has may, may, maybe recently taken place or um, needs to take place okay so just be aware of that be conscious of that if um, you know if things do come up uh, for you on an emotional level know that it's an opportunity to heal all right um, yeah okay all right let's let's just get into it Whew, okay oh, we'll take that one and we'll take those just because they're standing out Okay, right, right, yep, okay, right, so first of all, we've got the strength card, okay, which is the card of Leo, uh, this is about having strength within a situation, okay, he came out uh, next to the Ten of Pentacles, which can represent uh, family, it can represent finances, uh, financial stability in a sense here, uh, which involves normally more than one person, okay? Uh, this can mean uh, things like family, business, and um, things like inheritances, stuff like that, but it's actually looking quite positive. If this is, this is a family card, okay? So if we are talking about family, um, we do have the strength here in this aspect okay so um know that you've got the strength within the situation uh if you need strength i am actually getting a sense of vitality now i don't normally get that like with the strength card but for some unknown reason i just got a, a glimpse of um the sun card uh in the rider weight the traditional rider weight so i'm really feeling a sense of uh uh, a possible joy and vitality as well that is somehow um, connected to this maybe family or um, I'm just the word stability 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 so whatever the hell that means to you all right um, we've got the magician that came out so the magician is about collecting all your tools and everything you know and resources, right, and making it happen, making it work for you, creating what it is that you require in your life. You are your own magician, okay? But this is definitely talking about collecting resources and making it work, okay? Whatever that may be. I mean, it could be uh, time, money, um, what, what you're good at. Um, or it, it could be work-related. Um, there are multiple facets here, okay? And I really feel um, we've got pillars in the background as well. All right, which are actually broken there. <laughs> and I always feel like you're just like, like, it's almost like you have blown the top off this bitch. <laughs> Sorry, excuse the language, but it almost seems like his little bloody lightning bolt and his wand has just blown the freaking roof off, all right? Uh, in, a, in a positive way, in a positive way. Uh, this could be either, you know, changing things actually around you, okay? Or it could actually be an internal change as well, something that's going on inside of you. Now, with the Five of Wands in reverse, uh, we're talking about uh, giving up fights, okay? So normally this talks about people not thinking, not seeing what's actually going on. It's kind of, uh, you know, it, it can mean fights within and stuff like that. Like the people are blindfolded. So we've got people that, um, well, maybe it could even be yourself, representing yourself, um, unaware of what they're really doing. And as we can see, we've got a little uh, beehive up there that someone's about to hit and make it ten times worse. But um, the thing is, is that that is, that's not happening here. This is about that releasing itself. That is dissipating. That is going away now. Okay, so however the hell that speaks to you, I suppose it's about uh, not making a situation worse, but rather being in your power to do something about it, okay? And um, yeah, that's really interesting. I am going to do an animal card on it, uh, just to tap into this a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, so you're really quite, you, you're quite taking off here, all right, with the magician and that, it's, um, you really seem to be in a um, right, 
you know, let's let's make this happen or let's do this, let's run with it type vibe. It's a high octane energy here, uh, very, very much in the vitality. When we came back to the strength card and how I said I saw the sun card, um, we do have some burst of energy here which is taking place. That's so good. Um, I'm just going to get some more information on the five of wands here. Okay, so there could have been a deception or even something like little white lies around uh, this five of wands energy with the snake there, okay? Um, and it could possibly be involving a relationship, an agreement or a contract, okay? But we seem to be moving forward now, um, which is great. Whether that's you've, you've put the steps in place to make that happen uh, with the magician or... Um, you've come to some sort of, I'm really getting inner, inner power, inner strength here. All right. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. So we've got uh, the Nine of Swords reversed, which is quite a fortunate card considering um, we've got the Five of Wands in reverse. So this is about ending anxieties. This is about ending those nightmares and those worries and those fears, okay? This could be involving a King of Wands energy who is an Aries, a Leo, or a Sag. Um, it's a masculine energy. It doesn't have to be a male, but masculine energy. And this person normally um, either can't hold their temper, all right, or um, they're basically ungrounded, very um, flighty, like running around all over the shop perhaps. And um, with the Five of Wands here, there could have been some sort of conflict or argument with this person, okay, which seems to be dissipating. Um, we've got the Knight of Cups in reverse. This could be about emotional fulfillment. Um, uh, uh, even a delay on some level, an emotional delay. Just because he came out with the King of Wands as well, oh, oh, I actually did pick up that this person here might be drinking a lot, like the fire might, um, you know, come about when this person has had a couple of drinks as well, all right? Um, I'm going to get you some guidance on this situation. Right. Um, oh, i got a new deck, guys. Um, so it's called Saints and Angels, and uh, it was a present from Mel, so shout out. Shout out to Mel, thanks Mel. We're going to get some guidance on the situation or more information, however it wants to come out. Emotions, all right? Um, so especially with that Knight of Cups there, I really do feel that it does have a, a quite a, I'll say medium-sized emotional aspect here, all right? So with she's holding, I thought it was a pendulum, okay? I'm really new to these cards. This is basically the first time I've used them. Uh, oh, apart from the last video, I used them as well. Um, I thought it was a pendulum. So this is about um, balance, okay? This is about balance, but this is also about your inner desire, okay? It's actually almost like a um, one of those incense things, you know, in um, like a Roman Catholic church, you know how they've got the incense and they're like, yep, yeah, but it, does, it has the top off, right? And it's got a blue flame in there. And I really feel that this is... Um, a, a flame of a blue flame of desire that's what it feels like um so you might be feeling in your power to make a change because of what it is that you personally desire could be involving other people as well if it's about family you might be meeting them halfway okay um yeah we've got uh mountains i just got shivers okay we've got mountains in the background there um, which d does represent challenges, obstacles, uh, things like that. Uh, but this one over here uh, actually looks to me like a volcano that has had its top blown off. Okay, it's blown its freaking top, um, which is fascinating because we did pick up on um, fire energy here and uh, the uh, maybe anger, all right? Um, it seems to be in the past. It seems to be in the past. So... Um, have faith that this situation will pass if you're stuck in this situation at the moment um, regarding a fire energy, okay? Um, you, you, you should be feeling uh, a, a lot better soon and, and being able to drop those anxieties, all right? Um, yeah, that's quite interesting. She is looking toward the future, 
Okay, so she's looking away from those challenges and those obstacles that were in the past and she's now looking towards the future, which I feel is very much to do with her own personal desire, her own personal flame, okay, and keeping that burning, right, keeping it burning. Okay, um, you may feel a little bit restricted or constrained at the moment. I just noticed that she's wearing a belt and I actually felt tightness around me okay so you may be feeling a little bit restrained but I'm really feeling that you you know you are looking towards the future for a greater purpose a greater sense of purpose um and um really I'm re moving forward moving forward moving forward that's that's what I'm getting and uh that cheater energy as well is definitely moving forward okay all right we're, we're just gonna that was ages so I'm just gonna get another story there I hope that brings hope to somebody. Right. Uh, what are we going to do? We'll do these little guys, I, I feel. Okay. So we've got a, a boss, a mother or a grandmother figure. Okay. Um, can also mean an official person. We've got the destiny card there, um, which I just got moving on to easier times. Okay. But um, the destiny card does represent burden as well. All right, we'll get some more information. The burden could be involving a friendship or or a pet, for example. But I'm really picking up for someone. It is a friendship here. Um, yeah, so we could have a friend here that uh, might drink too much. <laughs> All right, there's a possibility. Or this um, this friend could be a drain on your resources, um, which is unfortunate. Uh, we'll get some more information. Okay, um, we've got the coffin here which can represent an ending or a delay, but I'm really picking up delay. And um, travel, travel. We've got a delay in travel happening here, which could be involving a friend. And the reason why the delay is, is because of the finances here. If we bring it back to the boss, um, boss energy there, it, um, this could be um, involving maybe a delay in work, okay, maybe the work isn't coming in at the moment, it is Christmas as well, um, so depending on what, uh, you know, sector of work you reside in, um, this could be a delay as well, okay, we're getting that cash coming in. And there's a public space indicated as well, all right, um, which I'm going to take it back to that friend having a few drinks. All right, we're just going to get some animal energies. I need to get another one for that. Yeah, okay. Look, I'm just going to take it back to the friend that uh, might have a drinking problem, okay? Um, that seems to be where I'm getting pulled, okay? Um, and sorry to everyone else who got other messages out of that, but we're just going to go with it. So with this friend, it could be involving long distance, okay? Um, this could have a long distance aspect here um, with the whale. Um, this does have an emotional context because, it, like, that is the alchemical symbol for water, okay? Uh, I am picking up emotions here, especially with what else has popped out. All right, so we've got the rabbit in reverse, which for me is like a, a lack of cautiousness, okay? So, you know, if this person has had too many to, to drink, um, they may not be so cautious. Um, this can also apply to you as well if you've had a, had, had a few um, you might contact this friend possibly. Um, yeah. All right. And we've got the camel that came out with the rabbit. So the camel is about emotional depletion. It is pretty much, uh, about putting up with something for so long and not getting an emotional return. It's like a one-sided emotional giving, emotional giving, emotional giving. And, uh, you know, if you're the camel, you've been wandering around in the desert for who knows how long, you know, praying for your bloody oasis. <laughs> and, uh, it, yeah, you seem to be drained on an emotional level, okay, um, with this lack of cautiousness, however it, it applies for you. 
Um, this could be someone also um, not caring, all right, not caring with the rabbit because with that cautiousness there, he actually he has got a sense of care there, right? Like he cares what's going on around him or what's happening. But with the rabbit in reverse, I'm, I'm feeling like somebody might, just might not care and this might be taking an emotional toll on you. Um, with the oyster here, we have some sort of blessing or something valuable which is hiding in plain sight. You might not be aware of it yet, okay? Um, so this can be talking, because this is a... Um, a water card as well there's a lot of water going on guys um this is a water card as well um so this could be talking about an emotional opportunity um to possibly crack something open and figure it out like it's right there waiting that's kind of how i'm feeling um with the oyster so if if this is if you if you think this is you i'm gonna get you some guidance all right All right, we've got the solar plexus chakra, all right, which talks about your own personal will, okay, and willpower. Um, it also does talk about courage, things like that. Um, someone may need courage to enter this situation, okay, um, and take a stand and say, no, I'm not going to expend my energy anymore on this. I am completely drained and over it, okay, and this is about enforcing it, okay. So if you feel like um, that, you know, if you're being drained, uh, by somebody um, that, you know, you give, 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 and, and you're just not receiving what it is that you need, um, and you have trouble standing up for yourself, um, this is directly to do with the solar plexus chakra and asserting your own will within the situation. You might have to say something or, um, you know, stand up for yourself or uh, put an end to something even, uh, because I feel like someone has really gone through quite, you know, an emotional like for a long time like this 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 may have been for quite a long time you know what i mean um anyway try to find balance okay cycles are completing um uh things are wrapping up things are actually moving forward here um so keep the hope alive the camel here he looks like this just be just before he actually finds his oasis okay and replenishes himself so do have hope within this situation that things um you know are finalizing and there's a reason why this had happened it could have just been i'm really picking up on the hourglass there this could have been like just a matter of time all right and there's actually a cup in there as well which kind of comes back to that it could be, could be, could be drinking emotional, uh, you know, nourishment type thing as well. Very symbolic. Okay, uh, we've got choose your battles. All right. So, is it really worth the fight? Is it worth putting up with these things? Um, you know, uh, I feel like there are several options here that you may, you know, want to take. And uh, you know what? Bloody uh, figure it out and choose one. And, um, you know, have the courage to do that. Uh, if you feel the need to do that, do that. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, I, I feel that uh, once you have a sense of, no, it's not control, but a uh, sense of strength. It's, it's a strength, uh, strength card. Um, you, you'll be feeling much better and much more confident. This little guy down here looks like freaking Peter Pan with his, <laughs> with his uh, hands on his hips, all right? It's not much that scares him, even with these like massive faces going on, okay? Um, so do try to tap into that strength, uh, strength, uh, uh, courage, energy to be able to face what needs to be faced, okay, within this situation. And we've also got move. So this is about moving forward, moving on, um, through love, though, through love, this is about tapping into that heart energy and, um, uh, you know, uh, let, uh, oh, I just got the, oh, just got the sentence, let bygones be bygones, right? <laughs> right. So, um, yeah, this is about coming to a sense of peace. Uh, with still being respectful and still coming from a loving, understanding place, but knowing that maybe, maybe you're worth more. Maybe, you know, maybe the situation has been a little bit kind of, you know, toxic or painful or there's, there's some sort of, some sort of um, thing that has been, you know, going on there that, um, you know, it, it needs time for change, it feels, time for change. So definitely... Um, 
you know, if you feel like you want to move forward, okay, move forward into the new, but um, definitely try to tap into that heart space, love energy, come from a place of love if you can, uh, love and courage, love and courage, I'm really seeing the uh, the lion from the, from the Wizard of Oz, <laughs> all right, all right, so um, anyway, moving on, okay, we're just going to do some general guidance for whoever, whatever is going on around here. Um, we're going to use those saints and angels cards because they're pretty cool. Blessings of abundance. Okay, blessings of abundance. Um, if you can, uh, try to be grateful for what's around you and what you already do have that does nourish you. Okay, um, that's going to bring in more of that. All right, that's what I'm picking up for that. I was going to grab that card. Animals. Okay, so it could have been to do with someone's pet as well. Um, possibly spending money on a pet to help a pet because it's it, you know a pet that you love um, you might it could have been yeah oh my goodness okay I'm seeing a cat here like obviously there is a cat on this card but I'm actually seeing somebody's cat all right um, all I'm picking up on is a really strong bond with this cat um, he might be a source of, I'm kind of getting the word support here, support and love. Um, you guys seem to have a really close bond. All right. And I feel like that cat has got healing energy for you. So if, if you've been neglecting your little poor, <laughs> poor cat, he's got love, love to give you, um, spend more time with him if you can. He's gorgeous. Um, yeah. All right. Uh, we're going to get another one. <clears throat> Okay, so we've got commitment. Um, so I feel that for somebody here, um, having that strength and willpower to commit to something is going to pay off because both these cards fell out together. All right. So um, if you feel the sense to commit to a course of action, uh, a way of doing things, uh, something to do with moving forward into the future here, okay, just know that, you know, if this is resonating with you, chances are um, things are actually going to work out and you will be triumphant, okay? I feel like someone feels like they've got a sense of support within this situation too, even if it's you supporting yourself and knowing that this is the right choice to make, right? Right, um, I'm getting a, a very much a freeing sensation, a freeing vibe, uh, looking uh, toward greater things, uh, new beginnings. Um, it's touching heaven. Touching heaven. Okay, that might play a role in that. All right, so know that you've got the strength and the confidence to to do that, to um, to push on forward and to push on through. It's not about struggling, I feel. I don't feel like anyone's struggling. Um, it's just a, a cause for encouragement, I feel, all right? All right, just going to get one more. Okay, so someone needs to release something within this situation, okay? Um, this could be emotional baggage. This could be holding on to the past. Um, whatever it is, this is your encouragement to release it on a personal level so it does not hold you back anymore. This doesn't have to hold you back or upset you uh, for any longer than what it already has. Okay, so uh, do work on releasing anything of that nature. If you can, you're going to feel a lot, lot freer, a lot brighter, okay, a lot lighter. Um, and I feel that that in itself is going to bring... Uh, a sense of strength, I feel, um, especially, I'm really getting that moving forward thing, um, and we've got share the love as well, so if you've got the opportunity to um, share the love with people, I mean, it is Christmas, and everyone really celebrates Christmas, probably apart from me, but, um, you know, share share the love, you know, that might help, um, you know, um, oh, it might help crack open your heart a bit, all right, so maybe it is talking about me. Maybe I should be celebrating Christmas. <laughs> I've only got one Gemini placement, but you know what? Whatever. If it speaks to me, it speaks to me. All right, so um, I, 
I would take this as a, um, you know, if you're feeling very constrained within the heart and you feel like you can't open your heart, you can't give from the heart or, um, you know, you're really struggling in that area, um, there might be something that you need to release, okay? It could be a situation, it could be a person, it could be a, an emotional baggage or a, a weight, it could be your mind even um, really constraining you there. So if you can work on releasing that, um, I really feel that that's going to open up that heart chakra energy and, you know, I feel like you've got a lot to give. You've got a lot to give. Okay. All right, I'm going to leave it there, Gemini. Oh, my goodness. I hope you guys have a great week and a great Christmas. Um, if you like this vid, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe, subscribe. If you'd like to donate to the cause, my PayPal link is in the description box below. If you feel the calling, go for it. If you don't, who cares? Other than that, um, I wish you guys the best. Take it easy and have a great week and I'll see you guys soon. All right. See you, Gemini.